Doctor No is a 1962 British spy James Bond film. It's actually the very first James Bond film. It's based on a character that's written in the novel with the same name by Ian Fleming. And this movie is directed by Terrence Young. Now, I got the idea to review all of the James Bond movies from this user on YouTube, Rambo Rafe for Life. He reviewed all the James Bond movies, and I just said, wow, that's a great idea. And in fact, this is a chance for me to watch all of the James Bond films. I, I've maybe seen like a handful of them, and now, watching Dr. No, I have to say, it was pretty damn good. 007. License to kill whom he pleases, where he pleases, when he pleases. First of all, Sean Connery, who is the very first James Bond, his introduction scene in here is just so cool. You could tell that he is one of the coolest James Bonds out there just from the first line that he delivered. Then you see him get this assignment to investigate these series of murders. They have a quick line of just how this agency works, a quick little remark on how he got promoted to double O status. My name is Bond, James Bond. My instructions were implicit. I was to leave for Jamaica in two hours. One thing I found interesting watching this film is, is how good the acting was. And you can really tell that the acting is so good because it's certain scenes are just one take. And it's one long shot. There's not many cuts. And I guess I'm so impressed with that because nowadays I'm so used to, I'm, everyone's so accustomed to just so many cuts in one scene. And there's this other funny scene where Bond is meeting with these two guys and there's a bunch of people dancing in the background and some of the people dancing and just how into it they are and how they're doing all their funny dancing. I'm like, that's hilarious. Good evening. Who pays you? You. Tell us. And watching Sean Connery be such a ladies man, James Bond is the ultimate ladies man. He sleeps with so many women in this film. In fact, there's even a scene where a tarantula crawls into bed with him and is like, hey, what's up? I decided to accept your invitation. I have to leave immediately. Just as things were getting interesting. But seriously, not joking, there's a scene where he hits on this woman. He says he wants to hang out, which you know what that means. Oh, Mr. Bond, I was thinking. Why don't you collect me at my apartment? He drives like miles and miles just to hook up with this woman. She sets him up to get killed and even that he knows he's being set up, he still sleeps with her. He's still smart enough to like check his watch while he's doing it. I'm like, this guy is so fucking slick. I thought it was always polite to knock first before shooting. Now because it's a 1962 film, obviously the effects aren't going to be that great. Like there's a scene, there's a car chase scene where you could tell Sean Connery has like a blue screen behind him and like the effects look pretty bad. But it's a little charming to see how they did special effects back in the day. Her directions were easy to follow and she sent a few of her friends to make sure I didn't get lost. <laughs> And being in the early 60s, I was surprised to see like so many black actors in the movie, especially this one black actor who I was like, wow, he's being featured pretty prominently in the role. Until you come to a point where Bond is like, yeah, go fetch my shoes. And the guy's like, yes, Master Bond, yes, Sir Bond. And I'm like, oh, I get it. And I found it pretty funny that on this island, everyone thought that there was a dragon there. And then when you see it, it's just a boat with this mouth drawn onto it and it blows out fire and that's where they meet this girl honey honey from our very first meeting was everything her name implied she clung to me like a wet bathing suit bond and honey get taken by dr no's man and you finally see dr no this this film's called dr no but you don't see dr no until like the last 20 minutes of the movie and i found that impressive just because i always said sometimes less is more <laughs> I thought you less stupid. I could have had you killed in the swamp. And why didn't you? You damaged my organization. You just hear about him throughout the film, so you kind of have this expectation, and then when you see him, he is kind of creepy. And you find out his plan is to disrupt the Project Mercury space launch mission, and you're like, wow. Unfortunately, I misjudged you. You are just a stupid policeman whose luck is run out. It was interesting to see how Bond would get out of this mess because it was a while where I wasn't sure how he would get out of it. Up to my neck in hot water. 
or something blowing up in my face. Like another thing why I like that the villain wasn't in it that much because since it's the first James Bond film, I feel like enough time was spent to get to know the character James Bond. And just after this first movie, I feel like I know this Bond. I feel like I know Sean Connery as Bond. And I thought Dr. No did a great job. Establishing who Bond is, establishing what type of movie world this is, I really enjoyed Dr. No. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of Dr. No. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later. Dr. No.